Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Doxy with another video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install certain callouts in LSPDFR so that way you guys can make your gameplay more immersive when you're role playing. So let's get straight into it. First thing we're going to do is go to our web browser. In our web browser what we're going to do is go to the link in my description. First one which is going to be for script hook V. If you have script hook V already installed, you do not need to install this. Okay, but let's say you don't have it, go ahead and hit download. You can go ahead and hit keep on this because it is not a virus. I've downloaded this multiple times. Trust me, guys, this is not a virus. So we're going to drag that to the desktop. Go ahead and open your browser back up. We're going to click the next link in the description, which is going to be for our callout interface. Okay, so this is going to allow us to be able to pick which callouts we want to use when we want to use them. All right, this is good for people that are just starting out in LSPDFR and they kind of want to just play around with the callouts and get ones that they want to spawn when they want them to spawn. So this is the one right here that we're going to want. We're going to want callout interface 1.4.1. Go ahead and download this file. Agree and download. You're going to want the main files. Go ahead and hit download on that. You're going to wait till this little timer counts down and then it's going to start downloading. Okay, once it's done downloading, we're going to do the same thing we always do and drag it to the desktop. Open your browser back up. We're going to go to the next link in the description, which is going to be Super Callouts. All right, you guys can always scroll down and read through here. They they usually leave detailed, uh, you know, descriptions on the callouts. These developers are awesome. They're what bring life to LSPDFR in the first place. So big shout out to all these developers that I'm going over today. Anyway, go ahead and hit download on this file. Agree and continue. Or agree and download. And then we're going to drag it to the desktop. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, KS Callouts. Go ahead and go, go over to Chaos Callouts 1.2.5.1. Go ahead and hit download this file. Agree and download. Do the same thing. When it's done, after the little timer counts down. And I've already downloaded these guys and made sure that they work, okay? So I tested these because callouts can kind of be a little funky sometimes, all right? I have not had one of these callouts crash my PC yet. So as long as you guys follow this tutorial and do exactly everything I'm doing, you guys should be good to go with these callouts, all right? We're going to install all three different packs at the same time, okay? So now what we're going to do is go to the next link in the description, which is going to be for 686 callouts. You're going to want to go ahead and hit download on this file, agree and download. Everything we're doing here, guys, linked in the description. If you guys need to pause the video, go ahead. All right, drag it to the desktop. All right, so now once we have all of these files drugged to the desktop, this is what we're going to do. All right, script hook V, callout interface, super callouts, chaos callouts, and 686 callouts. Once all of these are on the desktop, this is what we're doing, all right? For Steam users, I'm going to show you guys how to get to your main game directory. For Epic Games and any other platform, you guys are going to have to go to the description, okay? So here we go. We're going to go ahead and go to our file explorer, and I'm already there, but I'm going to take you guys from scratch. So we're going to go from this PC. You're going to want to go to your, your C drive, whatever C drive you have. Click on that, as long as it's downloaded there. If it's downloaded on an external, you'll go there. You're going to go to Program Files 86. You're going to go to Steam. Steam Apps. And then Common. Now we're going to click on Grand Theft Auto V. If you guys don't already have a backup, I would highly recommend you guys making a backup um, of your game. So this is my clean version. I don't have any mods in here. This is basically if something goes wrong here, I can always just resort back to this one. All right, start over again. Um, you also want to have a mods folder too. That's going to help you as well. But let's get straight into it. Go into your main game directory. All right, we're going to open up script hook v first if you guys don't have winrar there will be a link for winrar at the bottom of this video it'll be a tutorial showing you guys how to install it this is a free program so go ahead and click on ben these three things inside of ben besides the native trainer we're going to want to move into our main game directory this is only for people that do not have script hook v if you have script hook v discard this okay 
but you're going to take these two, this one and this one, and you're going to move them to your main game directory, okay, right into the open spot, right here, drag and drop, all right? I'm not going to do it because I already have this installed, okay, so I'm not going to install this one, all right? All of these I already have installed. Like I said before, I've already tested these, so as long as you just follow what I'm doing exactly, you'll be fine. All right, so here we go. This is the callout interface. Once this opens up, we are then going to click on Grand Theft Auto. And inside of here, we have a couple things that we need to install. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So you're going to, you're going to hold Control, click on Plugins. You're going to click on Callout Interface, the IPT.common, and the RAW, okay? Leave Rage out of it, all right? If you guys need Rage Native UI, refer to actually just type in Google Rage Native UI newest version and put that in your game. You do not want any of these in your game. This is dated 2-5-2023. I know I have one that's dated newer than that in my game right now, okay? Because if I go down to my Rage, Rage Native, Rage Native UI. Oh, no, this is the newest one. Okay, so they, they put the newest one inside of Callout Interface. All right, it is here, but usually it's not, okay? When you guys are installing these scripts, you guys open this up, and Rage will not be dated the same usually as what you have here. So always pay attention to that. You want the newest date, okay, for Rage Native UI. But I have the same version, so there's no need to, uh, you know, take that with it. So we're going to take all of these, drag and drop. That's all you got to do. That's done. Drag and drop it right in your main game directory, okay? Once you're done with that, you're going to close out of it. You guys can throw these away as we go so that we don't get confused. So, Next one on our list is going to be Super Callouts. All we're going to do is we're going to double click on Super Callouts. Take that over to the side. Okay. Now here we go. We got Super Callouts. All we're going to do here is click in here. Now this is another one of the ones where you want to pay attention, okay, because we just installed a script that already had this Callout Interface API. So we don't need this anymore, okay? This does not need to be installed anymore, all right, as far as these three um, callouts go. Other callouts may require different things, but I know for these three callouts, you do not need to have this installed because we just did it when we installed the callout interface. Okay, guys, so now we're going to go into plugins right here. We're just going to click on it once. We're going to hold control. We're going to um, select everything except Rage Native UI and callout interface drag and drop right here into your main game directory okay if it asks you to replace files or anything like that go ahead and do it and then we are going to exit out of this and put this in our recycle bin next thing on our list is going to be chaos callouts okay this one right here i feel is filled with a lot of immersion you guys should have a lot of fun playing with this one all right so let's open up chaos callouts let's go inside grand theft auto and then you guys could always read these readmes too. These readmes are always good. Let you know certain things sometimes if stuff was changed. And, it, and you see it says you need this for it to work. We have it, okay? It was in the callout interface, okay, guys? We have it already. So let's go into Grand Theft Auto here. We're going to go into plugins. We're going to click it one time, all right? Callout interface API. We're not going to move that in because we already have it. So just drag and drop plugins. Okay, guys, that's it for that one. The next one is going to be 686 callouts. This one here, we're going to do the same process. Double click on the WinRAR, open it up, double click on 686 callouts. Inside of here, we are going to take these two folders only, not this API, just them two folders, drag and drop. Okay, now if you guys weren't using the callout interface, you would have to take this interface here, the callout interface API, and drag and drop it to get the game to work, as it said in the readme. All right, but that's it, guys. Now we're done, okay? We can exit out of this, all right? We can move this to the recycle bin, and now we can go and look for our callout interface, okay? So callout interface should be within our plugins, LSPDFR. Somewhere in here we should see callout interface. Yep. Call interface.ini. We're going to double click on that. All right, so your guys' menu key is going to be F8. You can change your menu key here, okay? And your forced callout key is going to be F9, which you can also change here, okay? So what we're going to do now is 
next out of that readme what we're gonna do now is verify we got all of our stuff here so we got 686 callouts we have chaos callouts and we have super callouts cool so now what we're gonna do is go back into our grand theft auto 5 main directory if you guys did everything that i just did and followed me exactly you guys are now ready to go ahead and hit rage plugin hook so go ahead and open up rage plugin hook all right and then i will see you guys when we load into lspdfr all right guys so it looks like we just loaded into lspdfr so what we're going to do now is wait until we spawn and then i'm going to see if when we press f8 the callout interface appears okay guys if everything was done correctly like i said you guys should see a callout interface appear when you press f8 or if you guys change the key keep in mind you're going to need to um, use that key instead of F8, okay? So when I press F8, there you guys go. You can see it. We have the callout interface that comes up in the corner. What we're going to do here is we have super callouts, chaos callouts, and then we have our 686 callouts. So what we can do is click in these, and you can kind of see what all callouts are in here. So this, this callout pack alone has 16 callouts, guys, okay? This is just the 686. Just keep that in mind. All right, guys? The chaos callouts has one, two, three, four, five, six. So it has six different callouts in it. And then Super Callouts has 38 different callouts, okay, guys? Aliens, Ambulance Escort, Angry Animal, Block Trap, Car Accident, Car Accident 2, 3, Dead Body, <laughs> um, yeah, Police Intercept, or uh, Impersonator, um, let's see what some of the ones, oh, yeah, uh, here we go, Gang Task Force, um, Mafia Raid, so there's all different types of um call outs here guys that you guys can choose from so call out interface allows you to basically pick what you want to do all right so if we if we go in here you can do a hold up or a pursuit this is just you know the two call outs that lspdfr has by default um you can also go into the ini settings of these um call outs within your game directory and you can actually change and modify how frequently you might receive some um so yeah there you guys have it if we go into super call outs, i'll just do one real quick here I'm not really going to go to it. Just want to see if it'll spawn in without freezing. And then we're going to go to, like, police impersonator. We've got an and there you guys go. All right. It's, it's definitely Airport. working. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it's helped you. If it did, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And until the next one, peace.